Well hello and welcome to DJ Fossils. Um, you might notice we're now uh, sponsored by Night Searcher. Uh, that's um, the torch company and I'll, there'll be a video, for, a little ad video for them later on in the video. Um, we're today we're at Easington so we're going to go along there hoping to find some bits and pieces, multi-blocks, that sort of thing. Um, I've got a new mic as well which hopefully will cut out uh, the wind noise so hopefully the videos will be a better quality now as well so that's good so we're parked here which is seaside road i'll put the um description the, the the sort of sat nav location in the description below and uh we're going to head on down to the beach and see what we can find all right so when you get to the end um that's all quite high cliff i say high it's not high high but it's high enough that you wouldn't want to go down it and it is also quite a lot of it's got cracks in so don't don't go near the edge just come down this path here and you can get down nice and easily right here as you can see the tide's out as well so uh that's good although we've still got quite a while to low tide so yeah anyway let's get on with the hunt well we've headed all the way down the beach you can just about make out the caravan park in the far end there um, there's not been a lot to find so far but we've been looking through this all these boulders out here uh, found one sh couple of few shelly blocks uh, but nothing much in them uh, we tapped this one and there's a lovely shell right there so we haven't got that one was we collect bivalves and shells as well as we collect all fossils so we'll take that and then there's a couple of little shells in there so obviously different species to what we normally collect so we'll have these so but yeah we've not found an awful lot but there are some shelly blocks along here but i believe that we really need to be heading up past the oil field for the better stuff so we're going to head off up that way and if we see anything we'll have a look at it on the way so this is the sort of shelly block we're looking at and as you can see there's tons of shells in there but there's also a sign of an ammonite right there and um, Jackie's also just found that just laying on the beach little devil's toenail not a bad one it's got some nice patterning on it a little bit damaged on the end but it's still pretty nice uh, but yeah I'm gonna have a little tap at this one see if it's got anything in there the ones that I found so far with just shells on I've had nothing else apart from shells in them but this has got a sign of an ammonite so we may be a bit more lucky with this one you never know off. Um, yep so there are ammonites in it there's a little one there very little one um, but yeah there was some here but they've broken as you can see there um, there is another one there a little small one and um, which side was it on up here so I think it was this side no it must be this piece no it was on this bit originally oh, I've lost the other bit there was a uh, a couple showing a minute ago it might have been this top edge here actually yeah so we saw some in there but yeah we definitely see signs of ammonites on the outside and then obviously look inside i'm sure i saw some on the on this outer edge before so but there's again more signs another little one there but i don't think i'm going to get that out they seem to be not very well preserved in this block lovely little shell there uh, yeah, I'll have a look and see if I can get any out. But yeah, as you can see all these bits. Uh, it was full of ammonites, but they're not all preserving very well. So, in this one, I mean, we don't mind there's a few small ones. There's one there, but it's not that small. It's all right. But the point is, there's another one there and another one there. So there's three in that piece there. So I'm going to take this, prep this off, there might be some more little ones in there and it might be a nice little peat multi in there and we found this one as well which isn't too bad not sure of the species yet i'll hopefully i'll find out and put it up got a little chip there where because i was breaking the rock up just to see if i could find anything like this in the middle uh yeah but so i'm going to take that as is and prep that out at home but that one's really nice you never know might be something else alongside it in there got upside down shell there if nothing else and also jackie's found loads more graffia so there's a lot of graffia these are this one's they're a bit too worn is that the one you found earlier yeah, yeah they're a bit that one's like a that's, that's a double one so a bit worn though those really but yeah still things to find here 
helicopter and tons more boulders to look through yet as well. Established in 1989, Night Searcher has been at the forefront of lighting technology for 35 years with a wide range of impressive lighting solutions from everyday torches and head torches to professional options like searchlights and sports lighting, power packs and industrial lighting. No matter your needs, Night Searcher have an option to suit you. Built tough by professionals for professionals. All right, so there is a warning in place for drone flight, um, obviously because of the gas station there, but we're not going to be flying anywhere near that, so I don't think that's going to be much of a problem. What we're going to do is we're just going to head out over that way and then just fly up along there, along to have a nose and see what we can see. So, hope you enjoy the uh, little drone flight. I just found this not this uh, block here that someone else had tapped open and where they cracked it the actual shell line was further over so I thought oh, I'll give it a little tap as well on where the shell line is and yeah tons of shells going through it but uh, just found this as well in the middle so that's quite nice a little bit of damage on the end but we haven't got one of these from here yet so but yeah the uh, there's not a lot else in it, I don't think. No. But yeah, there was a shell line around it and uh, they obviously saw nothing in the middle, so I left it. But yeah, thank you very much. Another block 
hidden in between these rocks like I always say on a lot of my videos always checking between rocks it's a good good uh, place to look um, so I gave it a tap uh, it's only signs of shells in this one uh, beautiful big shell there lovely little ones nice this little flat oystery shell another different one there so there's like four different types of shell in here and whatever this big piece is so you know what I'm gonna take that because that's gonna make a nice piece and it's got a lot of shells obviously that we haven't got from this area and oh look there's a load on the back bottom there as well but yeah that's a nice piece and on the other side it's got some lovely ones here and there so I might see if I can tap and break this piece off with those in there's another uh, I think there might be a type of graffia there the shells broken off that though that's the underside of the little flat oyster there but no ammonites in this one although yeah that's oh no, that's a shell uh, but yeah still a nice little find we collect obviously shells all fossils really we don't worry about whether they're big small you know we collect everything so uh, yep yeah, quite happy with that one so we we've, we've done you know we've done well today we came here looking for some of these multi blocks we found one with some ammonites we found one with shells so you know we've uh, achieved our target so to speak but yeah hopefully we might find a few more bits because there's a lot of rocks here to go through as you can see so and um, that's just past the oil fields there where the uh where all this uh cliffing it cliff is we stand well away from that just stand down because you find all the stuff down here really um so not worth going along there if there's a fall you're going to be underneath it well we just spotted this a big old block here quite a nice size one uh, a lot of shells showing and turn it over and you've got a big graffia sat on the end there a couple of nice beautiful little ones there that one's complete uh, but look all the way around it so it looks like it's a big graffia block so I'm going to just have a tap at this and just have a nose and see what else is in there see if there's any nice ones open well we split the block open and it was absolute look at that it is packed with graffia I mean look there's so many I'm not going to take that piece uh, but there's all loads in there I'm going to leave that but we've well, got a lovely little one there with the baby one stuck on the side we've got another one sat there another one there a uh, lovely one there uh, but also look at this little cluster on there so we're taking that also got uh, that was the two we saw on the outside of the rock there we can take those two but in the middle a beautiful oh. shell oh Jackie just picked up another one as well it fell oh. off of there it fell off of the uh, edge of there I didn't even see that so yeah we've got a beautiful shell there uh, which isn't a graffia so I'm gonna take that piece as well but yeah that one just popped off of there but also what I have got is this block here and it's quite heavy but if we look oh, there is a whole line of them going through the middle and I think that that if I prop, prep the top off of this it's going to make a beautiful multi graffia block and you never know what else is in there could be some more other shells but I'm taking this piece it might be a bit heavy but I think it's going to be worth it when it's prepped up it's going to be beautiful and I do like graffia. Uh, I know they're very common, but a multi-block like that isn't always as common. People always find, usually find singles. So for us, this is a nice find, and that shell is a beautiful find because that is gorgeous. So and it's complete in there. Uh, little, it's not actually damaged. And so it's really nice. So and it's all protected under this side as well. So we're going to take that one. So good finds having a good day today look at that shame it wasn't complete one I only saw that much really nice uh, keel on it though don't know what it is but yeah it's really good wish I had the rest of it Right, we're going to be heading back to the car, uh, slowly walking along this way. Uh, and there's Jackie having a nose in there. And um, but I just want to show you. So that big pile there is what just fell down, and it literally we didn't even hear it 
until it hit the floor. When it thudded, it hits the floor. So be very careful, because like these bits up here, they fall and you're underneath. You won't actually hear it until it hits you. So don't get too close. Literally stay away. And it's not so bad if it's a slopey bit, but where, especially a vertical edge like that, or if there's an overhanging bit or a big bit that looks like it's precarious, stay well away. Jackie's found a rock to have a look at. So this is what we, you do, you move the rock away from it, you don't stay up there. So she's found it there, we bring it down here to look at it. So if something falls, we're not going to get hit by it. Well, we've broken it up as you can see, bits everywhere. Um, there's a lot of oysters in here, I don't know where that big, oh there we go. So like this, big oyster, and bits like this, but not a lot of good stuff in there. There was a nice shell in there, but it broke unfortunately, and we've got nice little gastropod though it's not quite complete the tips missing but that was already like that when we it was like that when you split it and there was no tip in the other side but uh it's still the first one of these species that we've got so we'll keep that one it's a nice little find for, for jackie there uh, well done that's up where's that shell oh, i can't see the shell now i can't remember where it was Yeah, it was, doesn't matter anyway, but yeah, we had a lovely shell, but it, unfortunately it broke, so. But yeah, we're gonna, like I said, head back up that way. If we find anything else, we'll show you. If not, we'll leave the video there. And thanks for watching. I might do a little prep um, of the little ammonite that I found on the end of the video, if I get a chance. Well, as you can see, let me just turn the light a bit so we get better light on it. This was the bottom half that I cut off. There's another little ammonite that just came out at the end. So I'll 
probably uh, see what that is because that one looks different. A bit of a shell there, so if I take some of that off later and just leave that ammonite in the shell, that could be all right. So we'll leave. I'll do that one another time. Uh, but yeah, so the main one is this one. It's come out really well. Not sure what it is, uh, but I'm going to find out and hopefully put it on the description. So or in the video. But yeah, there was two on the other side that were both broken, but I thought. I might as well highlight them anyway because they're the same type as well so it was a bit of a multi-block but obviously these were all broken anyway but yeah that one's a decent ish example it's got a nice keel on it little tiny chip there but it'll do it's the only one we've got of these so i'm more than happy with that so yeah hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching bye for now